In this video, I'm going to show you how to subtract polynomials. Let's say you're asked to find quantity 8x to the 4th minus 3x squared y plus 8x minus 4 minus quantity 23x to the 4th minus 4x squared y plus 10. Just like in the addition, you have to um, take note of the operation that separates the two expressions. In this case, it is a subtraction. Now, what you're doing here is you're subtracting this entire expression from the first expression given. So remember that when you do that, you can actually change this problem into an addition problem by changing this to a plus sign and changing the sign of each of the term in the second expression into its opposite. It would be just the same as taking this as a negative sign and distributing this to each of these terms in the second expression. What does that look like? First, remove the parentheses and copy the first expression. So 8x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth, um, to the second power y plus 8x minus 4. And then think about this as a negative sign. Now remember, you're subtracting not just the first term here, but this entire expression. So you'll be minus positive 23x to the fourth. So that will be minus 23x to the fourth. Negative times positive is negative. Okay, it will be minus negative 4x squared y, which is the same as plus 4x squared y. You can think about the rules in subtracting integers, or you can also simply multiply this negative sign by that negative sign. So negative times negative is positive. And then you'll have minus positive 10, which is the same as minus 10. Okay. From here, you can now combine like terms. The like terms are terms with the same variable. That means the letters are the same and the exponents of each letters are the same. So I can say that 8x to the 4th and negative 23x to the 4th are like terms. Why? Because they both have x to the 4th, okay, and nothing else. Here the variable is x to the 4th, here the variable is x to the 4th. Now think about the rules in combining integers with different signs because that's the same rule you will apply here positive 8 plus or combined with negative 23 because the signs are different you're going to subtract the absolute values of 8 and 23 well that will be equal to 15 but you will copy the sign of the number with the higher absolute value so we will copy the negative sign because negative 23 has a higher absolute value so it will be negative 15, and then we will simply copy the variable, x to the fourth. And then, negative 3x squared y and positive 4x squared y are like terms because they both have x squared y. The signs are different, so when you're combining um, different signs, you have to sub actually subtract their absolute values. So, it'll be 4 minus 3 is 1. And then we will copy the sign of the one with the higher absolute value. So we will copy the sign of 4. So plus 1. And then we will copy the variable that they have in common. And then I can see that 8x doesn't have a partner in here. There is no other terms in this expression that has just x in it. But I can combine the constant terms negative 4 and negative 10. They're both negative, so I can simply just add their absolute values. 10 plus 4 is 14, and I can copy their common sign, which is negative. So I'll have minus 14. And then I can just copy plus 8x, since I did not have to do anything with it. Now, if your teacher is very specific about the arrangement of the terms based on the power of the variables, you can actually simply write this as negative 15, x to the fourth, plus the 1x squared y can just simply be written as x squared y. And then instead of writing minus 14, you can write plus 8x first, and then minus 14 last. So this is your final answer. 
It is the final answer because there are no more terms that you can combine. So as long as there are no other um, like terms, that would be um, the simplified form of your answer. So that would be the final answer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps.